Hello there. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a character creator in the style that I showed in this devlog. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend that you do before watching this tutorial. It will give you some basic understanding and add some context to this tutorial. The system I made in that devlog took me months to make. So for this tutorial, the end result will look a bit more like this. This will still teach you enough that you should hopefully be able to extend it to a more complete state. I'll be using Maya and not Blender for two reasons. The first is quite simple. I use Maya. Sorry. And the second reason is that Quixel Bridge only exports MetaHumans to Maya. If you're a Blender user and you still want to use MetaHumans, then there is a workaround that I'll show you in just a moment. If you just don't care about MetaHumans and you just want to make a character creator, you should still be able to follow along. The steps are more or less the same regardless of what character you're using. And by the way, I'm making this entire project available on my Patreon, link in the description. If you want to try a demo build of my own character creator, then I'll also be making that available on my Patreon. Anyways, let's get started. If you don't have Quixel Bridge installed, go ahead and download and install it now. We'll need it to get access to the MetaHuman presets. If you want to create your own MetaHuman, you will need to request early access from the Unreal Engine website. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna pick a random MetaHuman preset. Let's make sure the export target in export settings is set to Unreal. Make sure Unreal is open and press export. Loading the MetaHuman will take a while and you will be asked to enable a list of features and probably asked to restart the engine. Now let's export to Maya. Set the export target to Maya. Make sure that Maya is open and hit export. This will take a few minutes. If you want to export to Blender, you will have to switch to Unreal. Right click on the MetaHuman head mesh, go to Asset Actions and press export. You will be missing the whole control rig that is included when working in Maya. So you'll be forced to either set up your own face rig or animate the face directly in Unreal. Select the head mesh and create three copies. This will be our first three blend shapes. You have to select the channels afterwards and unlock them so you can move the meshes around. For Blender users, these are called shape keys. I'll add a link in the description for a tutorial that goes through the Blender equivalent of what we're about to do. Let's just call these nose width nose height and nose depth. And then I'm just going to go through each of these and change the shape of the nose for each axis. If you double click on your tool, you'll be able to enable soft select and then select some vertices and deform some quick shapes. This is just going to be quick and rough for demonstration purposes. Once we're done, we can select all three blend shapes, shift select the default head and add the blend shapes to the existing blend shape node. Enable specify node and select the head LOD zero mesh blend shapes. Let's check that these are working. Windows, animation editors, shape editor, and let's write nose in the filter text field. At the bottom, you'll see your three blend shapes. And as you can see, you can combine those values and get a unique looking nose. Before we can export to Unreal, there is one issue we need to fix. If you compare the joint hierarchy of the face joints in Maya with the joint hierarchy of the MetaHuman face archetype inside Unreal, you will notice a few joints at the top of the hierarchy that are missing. To make sure that we export a mesh that can share the same skeleton as the one in Unreal, we'll need to add these missing joints. To do this, we can simply select the missing joints from the body hierarchy and duplicate them. Make sure you delete anything below the spine 3 joint.
Select the spine 4 joint, shift select the new spine 3 joint and hit P to reparent the face joints. The hierarchy should now match the default metahuman face hierarchy inside Unreal. Open the show menu, select objects and enable joints so that we only see joints. Go ahead and select all the face joints including the new ones we've created. Shift click drag the entire face including the eye and mouth meshes and shift click drag all the blend shape meshes, hit file, export selection. Remember to enable blend shape in this export window before you hit export. Export to your Unreal content folder and switch back to Unreal. Select the face archetype skeleton and enable morph targets and then import. You can also enable morph targets after you import it by opening your mesh and in the asset details under import settings enable import morph targets. Then hit re-import base mesh. After re-importing the base mesh you will have to close the mesh window and reopen the mesh. Now you should see a whole bunch of morph targets. If we type nose in the search field we should see our nose blend chips. Let's reapply the materials to our new mesh. To do this, I'm going to open the face mesh of the MetaHuman preset that I imported from Bridge. And open the new mesh that we've just imported. Now we simply press the magnifying glass of the first material slot on the MetaHuman preset mesh. This will select the material for this slot. Then press the arrow on the first material slot of our new mesh and this will assign the selected material. And then it's just a matter of repeating this for every material. We can finally open the MetaHuman preset blueprint and replace the head mesh. Select the face object and in the details panel select our new custom head mesh. If nothing changed in the viewport you'll know that everything is set up correctly. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment either here or on my Discord channel. That's it for part 1. See you in part two.